Did, did we see what trademark pick? Did you see? I didn't see what it picked. Did he go huh? Fox? Uh, I think he went Peach. Oh, he's he yeah. I have never seen Peach Kirby before. I feel like it'd be actually uh, never seen slow, it. Like puff related, not like mm. as bad as that, but still similar. My main curve song's placed. I think it's gonna take you to the ground though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have Curb Stomp, local legend, local hero. I, lo I believe in Curb Stomp. And Trademark, who I didn't know was like number two in the city. Or number three. Grab Tech Chase? Yes. Oh, we don't go. Yeah. You, you can get it on Spaces, but I don't know much about Floaties. All right. Curb Stomp coming in with like a lot of defensive approaches. Coming in with shield a lot more. And going for a lot of grab, considering the fact that... Oh. Kirby can get anything off the down throw. Really? Maybe not at early percents, because off of like heavy characters, he can get uh, a. He can get a tech chase, chase. yeah, yeah, because it, it, it like forces a tech usually. Yeah. But with uh, with the Peach and a lot of floaties, he just can they, recover in midair, yeah. yeah. They just recover. And so, that's not very good when yeah. Peach has. Considering that like Curve Stop plays pretty grounded too, yeah. Or is Kirby just a grounded character? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Good. Last time when Kerbstone took a game off Trademark, what was Kirk, what was Trademark I playing? Alright. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Coming in with that over those back airs. One more? Yes. See, the thing is, Kirby can throw out lots of those. Yeah, because he's got all those jumps, man. And Kirby's... Right. Oh, Stitch. Kirby's up air hits a lot harder than people think it does. Yeah, Kirby's up air is a kill throw. I mean, a kill, kill aerial. It's a kill aerial. Oh! oh almost leg grab him, man. Dude, yeah. coming in with a that. <laughs> That's an up throw, right? The seismic toss yeah. before you know brawl came out. <laughs> oh man! Nice, nice, nice. Pressuring him off stage by hitting his shield a bunch. <laughs> the Xeno drop is called the Xeno drop. Azuna drop. Why is it called? Why is it? Why is it called the Azuna drop? Ninja guy. Ava. No, I think it's from uh, King of Fighters. No, really? Fatal Fury. Fatal Fury. Yeah. Hmm. Just okay. <laughs> Throw him off a building. Yo. <laughs> Rockley? Yeah, no, he grabs him, wraps him up in the mines, and spins around. I thought that was like for like Hidden Lotus number two or something. <laughs> All right, as we talk about Naruto, we have an anime matchup going up right now. We got the hometown hero versus. Mr. Super Good at Melee also. Like, man, look at this. Matchup of the century right now. I believe in Curb Stomp, though. I, whoa. He tried to halt his momentum by using Down B, but it didn't make it because he hit the Blast Zone. Yeah. Curb Stomp is... <laughs> Curb Stomp is always... <laughs> look at him going KO, Ken. Dude, look at this, man. Oh, he's smiling. He likes it. The turnips have been super useful, though. There you go. She has an extra option out of shield now. <laughs> also, eventually she will pull a stitch. Yeah. She, uh, he pulled a stitch. Oh my goodness. He pulled a stitch before, but he just threw it out of like a panic. Oh, yeah. Alright, so. Because unlike Ian, he doesn't have as much movement with his yeah. He can't go the sideways thing either. So. He can't scalp people. No. <laughs> Scalping. Yo, that's a good way to put it. It's an interesting turn. Alright. One oh against up on up on trademarks. Alright. They're going back? I would take something Maybe. like Yoshi's or Battlefield. I, I think Pokemon would be good for Kirby in this situation. Yeah. Oh, they're going to Dreamland though. Uh, no, 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 no. Interesting. Okay. Does forever on Dreamland. Kirby does too, actually. <laughs> These are floaty characters. Okay. So, I. <laughs> I don't doubt that Kermstop doesn't know this matchup because he's obviously played for a while, so he knows this matchup relatively well. However, playing trademark is probably the harder portion of this. Suit. Allah! One more time, one more time. Once again, trademark is very good at just throwing out the projectile and covering every other option. Uh, the first bit, do those space fairs, like space back airs, like till he can get a conversion. Maybe he thinks because it's like a different stage, or because he lost, he might have to do something else. Or maybe, yeah, maybe he's a down. Yeah. He oh, he's approaching backwards, actually. Wow. Yeah, it's the same thing Puff does. Dang. 
I always forget you can do stuff like that, because, like, C stick exists. Whoa. Oh, here we go. Oh, he tried to hit the turnip out of the air, but it didn't make it. The trajectory of the turnip was a bit too slow. All right. Only down a single stock. If he can take this, he can even the game out relatively well. It's only like a minute and ten seconds in. Oh, nice. Punishes a gash attack on ledge. Trademark's been nice. doing such a good job of like stuffing the approaches yeah. and like keeping him out. I think it's because like when it comes to aerial superiority, Peach just has it, I feel. Oh! Her moves are better in the air, but yeah. they have the same ability. Actually, Kirby probably has better mobility in the air, because he has multiple jumps and he can go multiple directions. You're right, you're right, actually, you're right. I meant float will keep her at a height, but she only goes back and forward. Oh my goodness, I just meant like air game in general. Yo, good dash attack. Wait, what does, As what does what Kirby I mean? take whenever he sucks up Peach? Her toad. Her toad? Okay. But uh, nice. I like how Trademark isn't over committing to anything. Like, if he can't get a follow up, he doesn't go for it. I think it's because he like recognizes that the riskier he plays, like the more inconsistent he plays too. We could kind of see that when he was going super aggro in the previous tournaments. He just kept going for those like oh, those hits. Those are hard. I can't do that. I think. Oh my goodness! It looked like Trademark was trying to read his recovery and like the amount of back airs he was gonna do, but Curb Sump was also trying to. Oh, he just took. Yo. Oh, he went. Oh my goodness! He's trying to trying to stuff him out with his own move, his down air. Yeah, see, he's giving Curb a really hard time to approach him, and he's gotten the close turn up to fair conversion quite a bit. I think that's like a strong. He's also been oh. caught off the ledge like that almost, like, like, probably like six million yeah. times. Hmm. Talking about trademark right yeah. now. Okay. Like when Curb Stone comes off the ledge, he's hit him with fairs and up airs. Mm. Good job. Well, I mean, traditionally, Peach's ledge recovery options are not very big. She has to, like, do that fourth thing. He on the stage. Like that. Oh, oh, okay, okay. That's why I think he gave it to him that time. Yeah. So he can just punish him on stage afterwards? Yeah, okay. I don't know. Like, maybe up air would have worked there, too. Like, down throw up air. Because Peach's up air actually hits pretty good. Oh, yeah, he just did it again. He caught him with the four there, I think. So this game's going a bit more even and the... Oh yeah, and it kills him off the back air. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he went for the name. Yeah, oh. Curb Stomp, no knowing that there's a turn up in the air, he just kind of waits. He's not going to challenge the up beat. Yeah. Because he's been hit by that up beat and gotten conversions off of it. Because, because he's, he tried to challenge it with the bear. It just didn't work. He, uh, he's gotten punished for it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Curb Stomp just, just hitting right after the moves come out on Trademark's character. Because they don't really have, like, long extended combos on each other. No. Yeah. I think which suits Curb Stomp's playstyle really well, because he's more of like a poke character. Yeah, so like, like they can get one to two hits off of each other, and then they kind of reset back to neutral. Yeah. This is like a, this is, oh, but heroes never die. Uh, How do I mute this? Cool. Why can't I mute this? What is this? Uh, Curb's not putting up a relatively impressive stronger, sorry about that, stronger fight.